from an expert snooker player to the mecca of expert harpists in this country, constantly snookered by the severe shortage of the instruments they love. At John Sebastian Morley's shop in southwest London, harps have been cherished since 1860, and they need cherishing. There's a saying among musicians that new harps are harder to come by than tickets to heaven. In fact, the majority of orchestral harpists play on instruments more than 100 years old, and Mr. Morley's firm, far and away the last of its kind in Britain, has not made a new orchestral harp for 40 years. Now, the business here is primarily that of renovating the massive relics of a musical age before the piano made its mark on the drawing room carpet. Here, a new soundboard is being fastened to the belly of a harp, a job that is done frequently because of the two tons pull which the strings exert. The strings, by the way, are made mainly of sheep gut. Silk, covered by metal spinning, is the composition of the deeper bass notes. Although, as we said, orchestral harps are made no longer in this country, every detail of the complex constructional techniques has still to be learnt. Such is the majesty of an orchestral harp that its few remaining craftsmen spend as much time French polishing and woodworking as they do actually getting the instrument into musical shape. We wonder whether any other instrument requires so much of the carpenter's art. Some of the carvings seem purposely to remind one of the time when music was artistic. It's interesting too to think that all harps have a pedigree and can be traced back to their origins. But that's another story.